this is the prelude from the receiving that I'm I started to receive after receiving to some Lila and the title is From the Heart of Mary and of course it's a revelation directed directly from Virgin Mary for us and it says Children of my heart I come to dwell with you in a particular way clad in the glory of heaven and in union with the angels of God and my divine son, Jesus. By the sign of the Father, Father of light, this work of wisdom and truth is given to you as a sign of his love for you. We love you with the perfect love that comes from the source of life the only true love and the origin of all holy love. In my immaculate heart, you will be able to find what your soul seeks because it is one with the source of your being and of all true, pure and perfect being. Love is calling you like never before. These words are a sign among many others that this is true. I invite you to open the eyes of your hearts to contemplate the wonders that God created for each of his children. Beyond all forms, there is the true essence of things that cannot be nullified. Your reality does not have to be a reality separate from holiness. What you are does not have to be hidden behind the wall of illusions of an identity that has no substance. You are the children of God, created in his likeness, in love, and holiness. Do not be carried away by the voices that want to convince you that you are something else. In the highest heights of the heaven of God dwells your true identity. It is in the abode of Christ that your reality dwells. Find your true identity there. I am the wind that blows souls to take them to the highest heights of sanctity, where the light that never goes out dwells. I am the refuge of hearts seeking peace. I am Mary, the queen of concord, of harmony, who calls me receives me. Whoever looks for me, finds me. Whoever opens the door of his or her being to me, receives the grace of my embrace. This gift of my unrevealed grace has never before been given to the men and women who inhabit in earth. Not because my daughters and sons did not receive my holy love before, but because you are here at the time of the second advent. You have chosen to live in the world at this moment in the history of humanity and not in others. By the perfect design of the will of the eternal Father, and the will of your being. Each time has grace. At this time, it is the abundant grace of Mary Immaculate. Yes, children of my sweetest heart, 
These are the times of Mary, time of sweetness and love, times of beauty and holiness, times when the divine joins the earth in the beauty of the truth. Never before has the eternal been as openly linked to the temporal in human consciousness as it is today. Human hearts are opening more and more to their creator, as if they are beautiful flowers preparing to receive the golden rays of the sun and its life-giving light. I come to dwell with you so that you receive these words and make them yours. It is Christ who is speaking you through me, for we are one. It is the love that has come down from heaven to join with you in this way, with these words, through this divine manifestation, reaching you by mysterious means. Love is a mystery to humankind as life is a mystery to it. You must know, my soul, that my Immaculate Heart burns constantly in the flames of the living love that is God, a force greater than any power you can imagine moves within my being. It is the power of God in whose reality we exist united in the joy of joyous truth. With that very love and with that only true power, I make myself present in your life, here and now, by design of the Heavenly Father and by your will to join the light. The plea of your heart has been heard. Your prayers have been accepted by Christ. Here is heaven's answer to your deepest longing, your longing for union and for love, your longing to be who you really are, your longing to live fully and for endless bliss. You have traveled an arduous and winding road to get here. Many times you have become fatigued. You have experienced the extremes of the human experience so full of nuances and intensities. You have cried out to heaven to find your being and you have found it now that you are aware of who you really are, the road appears clear and serene. In the peace of our union, we will continue together, walking the path that we still have to travel in the world, and then entering, holding hands into the kingdom of heaven, where we will deal for all eternity. I'm with you every day of your life. What a joy, my sons and daughters, to be able to rest in the certainty that once you have fulfilled your holy purpose in the world, we will continue to hold hands forever. And we will continue eternally spreading beautiful love, united in spirit and truth, in the beauty of holiness. In our mutual union of divine love, we are one with God and with everything that is part of him. Your face is sculpted in my heart. Your name is written in the palm of my hand. 
I contemplate you from the realm of no time, from where everything is seen, everything is known, and everything is embraced in love. I assure you, children of my heart, there will never be a work like this. These words are clothed in divine grace that is always unique, always new, always creative. Humanity is living in the time of direct relationship with God in the world. These are new times time of fulfillment, times of the second coming of my divine son, Jesus. This work is unique because never before had I addressed humanity in such an explicit way, direct and full of tenderness and unity, except for the time when by the grace of God I dwelt among men. In every word of these writings, there is the power of divine love. Each time that a soul dedicates itself to receiving them, the power of miracles makes an appearance. The value of this unique manifestation does not reside in the form, but in its essence. Since its source is Christ, all its power and glory go with it. Every moment you spend with me, you become more connected to love, and your being shines in all its magnificence. In our divine relationship lies the refuge of your heart, the certainty of who you really are, and the peace that has no opposite. This work is a gift from heaven that is given to all as the perfect means to consciously remain in union with Christ, and from that union to take you to a greater knowledge of love that has no beginning or end, the perfect love that you really are. Through these words, I am inviting you to live from now and forever as the love that you really are. That is why I have come, so that together we can bear witness to the truth, the truth that says you are love and nothing but love, because God is love and nothing but love. I bless you in the certainty of your holiness.